Hello, welcome, my sister, my sister, Fais Aziz. I hope that you are well. For me, alhamdulillah, I am fine. So, in this video, I will show you an example, another example, how to use function, predefined function interface. To be familiar, as I say, to be familiar and more comfortable with all this uh, new predefined function interface. So, my requirement is so simple. I have a string and I want to remove all the blank characters, all the space characters, what you want, okay, from the string. So simple like this. To, to implement this, we have a different way, okay? What I will do now, it is not required to do the same thing, yeah? We have different, different ways. Choose what you want. Just achieve your purpose, what you want to get, okay? So, to make this, I will use function, predefined function interface, like this. I have, for example, I have string, str equal, I am full stack developer. Okay? As you can see, there are blank uh, characters, all space between uh, words. So, I just want to remove all this one and to get my string again. So I write my function like this function. The input type parameter is string. And the return type parameter it is string also. F equal str simple arrow. str here I will use the method replace all okay of the string class. So I give him, I give him the blank characters and I want to replace it with empty characters without anything. Okay? I have finished with my lambda expression or with my function and now I want to uh, apply this. So system out of return f dot apply my string. And I, as you can see, I will get the, this result. I will go to the computer to show you what is the result really. Okay, so let's do, and I will come back to make another example with same string but with another requirement. Okay, so let's go. So I want to get or to remove all the blank characters from the string okay so here is my string string str equal i am full stack developer in java etc etc okay so now i will just put my function like this function and here I give him the input type parameter is string and I want to get string so here also string f equal str simple arrow str dot replace all and here here is the blank character or space character and here with empty characters okay so let's apply this ah uh, sorry I have str here so s uh, be confused system dot uh, uh, f dot apply for my str and here what will be the result as you can see i don't have any blank characters or or space characters same thing okay let's continue with another example now what I want? <coughs> I want to get the number of this blank character from the string. Okay? Here also we have different ways to, uh, to get this result. But I will use the same method with replace all. Okay? With this concept. I will show you what I will do, of course. To, to achieve this purpose, what I will do, 
I will calculate the length of my string before to remove the blank character. It's so simple like this. So for example, I have uh, 20, for example, uh, for example. And when I remove the blank characters or space characters, I have 15, the length. Okay? So to get the number of blank characters, what I will do? I will subtract between them. So it is 20 minus 15. So I have only five blank characters. It's so simple like this. Okay? As I have said, to achieve this, you can use different, different ways. It is not required to, to make the same thing. What I will do now. Okay? It is not required. I repeat again. <laughs> so I will write the function. It is I have my same same string, and in function I have here what I will have string as input parameters, but the return type will be integer. Okay, f equal or f two equal str string my string uh, input parameter. Simple arrow here str dot length minus str dot replace all with same ones blank characters with empty characters I will close dot length so simple like this so if I make system dot out dot printn f2 dot apply same string you will see what I get okay so let's make this example again in the computer and maybe I will make another example in uh, this same video or in next video I will see maybe uh, in this video I will continue I will see I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so I will uh, see this after okay so let's make before this, let's execute this program before to continue. Let's go. So now I want to get the number of these blank characters. So I will put, let's remove this. I will write another function. I can let this, no problem, but I will create a new one, no problem. Function f2. But here I have an integer, not string. I want to get the number of blank characters. And here, what I will do, s dot length minus s dot replace all the blank characters with empty character dot length okay so before you execute how many blank characters we have one two three and four so let's see this system dot dot printer n here f2 we got four or no? Let's see. Let's see now. Four. Good. If I added, for example, here, I have two, I have added two. So let's see. Seven. Do you see? I have added more, I think. I have three here. <laughs> okay. So it's so simple like this. I think I will uh, go directly to our next video to show you another example. To be again more more and familiar with this new predefined functional interface. Thank you a lot of volunteers to have followed this course until this moment. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and practice, practice, practice. I tell you goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.